Good day to everybody out there. This is your boy, Nate. Nate Richardson. I am a hybrid athlete. I am a former endurance athlete, uh, rocking my Ironman hat, sporting the, sporting the sport, uh, sporting the, uh, the lifestyle I used to live. Let's just put it that way. Um, I really upgraded, and I've kind of upgraded my my weightlifting. I've upgraded my kind of my my goals to basically kind of remove put endurance out of the picture. Um, those of you who have seen my previous episodes are kind of aware that I really kind of left that that type of training behind a while ago. Uh, when I say a while ago, I mean about six months ago, roughly six months ago. Coming up on six months, or I just passed six months, I guess, because I did my last marathon on May fifth of twenty twenty four. So. Since then, uh, I'll, I'll post some pictures and stuff, and on my social media, I have that. On, on this channel, I have some shorts that basically show my my physique update and kind of how my body has changed. But uh, bottom line is, I'm really getting into the weightlifting side of things. I'm really getting into bodybuilding. I'm really getting into just putting on, you know, good mature muscle. Um, I'm in, I'm in my 30s, so I think I, I can relate to a lot a lot to men my age. Um, those of you guys that maybe, um, you know, you just enjoy hitting the gym, you enjoy the habit of, you know, getting in, lifting weights. Uh, you follow whether, you know, you follow some high profile guys, maybe like Sam Sulik, or for those of you younger guys, like those millennials, you know, maybe age 18 to 25, Sam Sulik looks like the number one go-to guy. Um, not necessarily ideal for diet as we all know, but, um, you know, there's some other, you know, really good guys out there, some professional guys that kind of, you know, have a channel and share information on training and the science of training. And, uh, you know, guys like Mike Isratel and, um, you know, some other great, you know, scientific guys that really break down training and break down the the, uh, the ins and outs of it. For me, I've done, you know, I've posted 15 handful of episodes and these short videos that basically kind of speak to, you know, my love for just overall fitness and training and endurance and give you guys an, you know, kind of a breakdown of what I do and what my week's like and how I train and how I mix in running with training and, and all this stuff. And, you know, it's, it's been a hard road. I mean, you know, I've, I've had days where I run, you know, I do you run 11, 12 miles, you lift weights, you can try to, you know, wake up and do it again. And uh, anyone who's done that knows it's very demanding. I've gotten in really good shape in the past. You know, I've, I've, I've have, I have had, you know, about 180 pound body weight. Uh, I've been very lean, you know, maybe not sub 10%, but close to being sub 10%, uh, still lifting, you know, doing marathons, did a couple Ironmans, uh, you know, quite a bit of, um, you know, endurance and miles that I've, that I've logged in, in the past five years, um, you know, all the way back to the beginning of when I really made the decision to dedicate myself uh, you know, fully into fitness to quit alcohol, to quit bad habits in my in my health, to quit fast food, to quit processed carbohydrates, processed foods, to pay attention to macros, to to do like the basics that anyone, especially a man, if you're a man and you're into fitness, you really need to pay attention to what you're eating, to how you're sleeping, to your hydration, everything. So, uh, it's been three full years for me, coming up on four years in January, or February. It's going to be pretty much four full years of me dedicating my my life. My, my my habits and my and my life to fitness and uh, i'm very happy with how things have gone um, i know that there's a lot more that i can accomplish and a lot more that i can do because i do have the mindset for it i'm a little bit crazy um i'm pretty obsessed with you know keeping my routine and my schedule which obviously is a, is a requirement for for fitness and, and overall health and and success if you're really going to make gains and progress but um i think as long as you have the desire to train hard and pay attention and, and integrate fitness and muscle building and and everything weightlifting and everything that goes with it into your life and this is the show for you this is the this is the podcast for you i really want this thing to grow i'm at about 90 subscribers right now and uh, i'm going to start you know really fun i've said it before but i really want to focus on you know adding some animation adding some some more information some some links some some files some of the samples of the of the diet templates that i have for clients um, i do a lot of work for diet templates for clients so people that i'm close to and even some people that i'm not so close to i've delivered some pretty good products to them in terms of you know, just a basically a comprehensive day by day meal plan for you and how you can uh, really integrate that, implement that and, you know, create good habits to where, you know, the diet that you choose is a diet that you can 100 percent follow. That's more important. Uh, it's less important to pick perfect food as it is to basically pick something to where you're not going to, you know, freak out every week and say, oh, my God, I need to you know, eat this shitty food or whatever it is. So um, that's kind of my, my my sweet spot right now is basically getting into, uh, you know, helping clients that way from a train a trainer perspective. Uh, I'm not necessarily like the elite level to where, you know, you're going to watch me, you know, win a competition or I can't bench press 400 pounds. I can't deadlift 800 pounds. I can't do what, you know, the top 1% of the 1% can do, but I definitely work harder than a lot of people. Um, and that kind of gives me the confidence to run, to basically do a show like this in a program and hopefully gain some traction, gain some clients and gain everything, you know, gain some, some, um, you know, some networking, uh, you know, gain some new relationships online. So, uh, so much of the world is online. I mean, I work online, I work remote as a professional so, and data. So, 
this just kind of falls into everything that I'm about. So that being said, let me get into a few uh, subjects related to bodybuilding and related to my progress um, leading into kind of 2025 and then kind of give you a breakdown of what I'm going to be sharing uh, over the next, uh, you know, six to 12 months. Um, I have, I've pretty much achieved every goal that I've set in terms of endurance. And now I have a new goal that's in bodybuilding. And my goal in bodybuilding is to basically do an amateur show probably by the end of 2026. So I'm basically giving myself two and a half to uh, up at the high end, three years to basically quit endurance, kind of be skinny overall, and then put on muscle mass, do a couple of bolts and cuts, and then get into an amateur show in Colorado at the local level and compete, you know, not necessarily win, but not necessarily be the worst guy. So. Uh, I'm pretty self-aware of how I look compared to other people in the gym and, you know, the top tier guys, you know, um, and, and how how I would stack up if I were to enter a competition today and versus, you know, if I were to enter a competition and die at hard in the future. So um, I think building the foundation is really what I'm going to focus on this next year. I've already started that. Like I said, I'm six months in, you know, six months out from a marathon. And anyone who really kind of doubts how much muscle you can put on in a short amount of time without doing steroids, you can put on quite a bit of muscle. Um, it's all about kind of managing your your cardio, and I've spoken about this before in this channel. It's all about managing your workload and and managing the type of stimulus that you want to you you want to basically generate for your body. Um, there's a bunch of guys that talk about you know ideal rest times, ideal rest intervals, um, intensity, weight, volume, rep sets, whatever. There's enough science out there. I'm not going to get into the deep science, but I'm going to get into basically like the 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 the, the higher the high level, the overarching. Um, habits that you need to have. I will say you need to balance cardio and weightlifting. If you want to stay lean, obviously diet is very important, but if you want to stay lean and you want to still build muscle and not stay can, kind of thinner, you need to avoid doing too much cardio kind of as a hybrid athlete or somebody who, who, who's done both in the past. And that's where the big shift for me has come. Um, I'll drop a, a, an image uh, of my kind of my, my current body, my current physique versus the what it looked like six to eight months ago. And you can see I've pretty much put on about 20 pounds. Not all of it's muscle, but I would argue that 10 to 15 pounds of it is muscle and at least five to eight pounds is body fat. But bottom line is I'm right around 200 pounds right now. I've never been this heavy in my life, but I've done it correctly. I've done it properly in a lean bulk. So that's really what I'm about is basically sharing kind of my experience, my hands-on experience and really giving you a detailed path and kind of reporting on that as someone who's, who has, who doesn't have the God gifted, you know, genetics to basically, you know, get huge quick, but I do have the work ethic, like I said, and kind of the, the knowledge that I've gained over uh, several years of doing this to, to basically kind of give you guys a report and update it. Uh, bottom line is, you know, based on training, you want to, you know, decide your split, decide the, 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 the regimen that you're going to have and you want to incrementally increase intensity week over week so one thing that i've noticed now that i'm kind of all in on bodybuilding is my cardio has gone to like a maintenance state to basically you know get me warmed up like i'll get on a stationary bike i'll do a 10 to 15 minute bike before heavy weight session or after a, you know once or twice a week i'll run a 5k um, you know i might do a 15 20 minute run uh, jog not too intense but definitely you know some some multiple miles in a single session a single cardio session which I've noted it doesn't really damage my muscle gaining ability. If I were to do, do that every day, it would, but it's almost like an active recovery benefit to where those of you guys are in good cardiovascular shape, kind of like myself, and you also lift weights. You really like compared to other dudes, like you can go, I mean, you can do set after set after set after set. What you need to find is that sweet spot, that balance of, okay, let me make sure this set is really intense and it's hard. And I give myself enough recovery. I would say 45 minutes to 60, 45 seconds to 60 or 75 seconds in between sets to where you're still, you know, huffing and puffing, but you kind of have enough time to kind of, you, you shock the muscle once, let it recover momentarily and, and go after it again. So I think there's kind of a method to that madness. Um, you know, I'll speak about that in future episodes, but bottom line is you know, I, I hope, you know, people who watch this can maybe track my progress and see how I look in about two years from now, because it's really going to be a nice sequence of, Bolt cut, bolt cut, kind of what Sam Sulik does or, you know, other guys that are kind of, you know, really famous on, on these channels and stuff and, and online. But bottom line is I'm basically sitting at 200 pounds right now. I've gone from 180 to 200 in about five or six months. 20 pound weight gain doesn't seem like much, but when it's a lean weight gain, it's pretty significant. I notice a difference in my physique. As I said, I just posted those two pics side by side and you can kind of see that difference. So, you know, that's where I'm at is, um, you know, I, I really want to kind of give uh, give that a go at like how big can I get without really getting too fat. And I think for me, the sweet spot is going to be around 210 pounds. So the path going forward is going to be bulk to 210, cut to, to 196 to 190, maybe just up to 200, 195, 196, and then bulk back up to like 215, maybe 218 at the most, and then do one more final cut to ride at around 200. Uh, in my opinion, I'm, you know, I'm six foot one. So I think 200 is 
pretty good, you know, way to be on stage or to be kind of in competition shape. So I'm um, looking forward to kind of how I look, uh, you know, when I get there. Again, that's probably not going to be until 2026. But this is kind of a long term channel to basically where I, you know, give my kind of give a quick rundown of, of how who I am, kind of how I live my life in the, in the fitness space. So that's a little bit about me. That's a little bit about kind of a recap of where I've been the last couple of years and going into my now. 2025 is going to be the first kind of full on year where I don't have to prep for an endurance race. I've always had to in the past to where you, know, you really do some damage to all the, the weight, the weight gain, pro the muscle gain progress that you make. It's kind of uh, it's depressing in a lot of ways where, you know, I, I, I always come into February and March and I'm, you know, I used I was like 196, 197, pretty lean and feeling strong. And then all of a sudden it's like, all right, here, start running 40, 50 miles a week to prep for this marathon. So not doing that anymore. I can always go back to it. I mean, I'm, I'm still young, I'm in my early thirties. So um, that's kind of where I'm at, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching this. And uh, I hope you guys go out there and be great, do great things. And uh, we'll see you next episode for kind of a detailed review of my uh, kind of my week and my month for uh, bodybuilding training. Thanks. Take care.